Hi, this is JJ at CCBC. In this video, we'll talk about digital displays. Specific topics we'll focus on include screen resolutions as well as aspect ratios. So as a multimedia developer, you need to think about who your audience is and what kinds of computing devices they're going to use to view your multimedia piece with. Now, for this lecture, I'm going to focus on computer monitors to keep it simple, but I don't want you to forget that there's lots of tablets and smartphones out there, and they all have their own screen resolutions that you need to consider. Um, but for now, I'm just going to talk about computer monitors. So a screen resolution it doesn't mean the physical size of a monitor. That's not going to change. The screen resolution is how many pixels can be displayed in the width and the height of your monitor. And a single monitor can support all four of these screen resolutions. So each of these resolutions is going to have an impact on what your multimedia piece looks like on the computer monitor. So normally I would change my resolutions and show you some different sizes and how that affects your pieces, uh, but I'm recording this video on my computer and changing the resolution actually screws up the video recording. So what I did instead was I downloaded this image. It's a 1600 by 1200 pixel image. Um, so on a 1600 by 1200 pixel screen resolution, you can see the entire image. Now if I change my screen resolution to something like 1280 by 960, you can see some of the top and right side get cropped out because the entire image can't fit within the display area. <clears throat> if I reduce the display area further, like 1024 by 768, or even further, like 800 by 600, you'll notice that yellow smiley face is all but missing from the original image. It just doesn't fit in the display area. So here's a side-by-side -side view of all four of those settings. Keep in mind, the physical size of the monitor isn't going to change, but I can change the display setting, and this is how it's going to impact my ability to view an image that's 1600 by 1200 pixels. That's a very, very large image. Um, here's a view of that same image with each of those resolutions, I left a border for where the edge of the monitor would be, so you can see how much of that image would fit within each of those resolutions. All right, and keep in mind, this is just computer monitor displays. That doesn't even include smartphones like the iPhone 5. This is what it would look like on an iPhone 5 display. It's only 320 by 568 pixels, so that's as much of the image as you're going to see. That yellow smiley face doesn't even exist on this display. Um, so these are all things you need to consider when you're thinking about the size of your multimedia piece and how it's going to appear in your audience's computing devices. One other thing you need to consider is aspect ratios. So the aspect ratio is the width divided by the height, and it's usually represented by a number for the width, a colon, and then a number for the height. Um, there's two basic aspect ratios, and this is when we're talking about the physical size of a computer monitor. So a standard display would be 4x3. So on the bottom left there you can see I put a pretty standard looking computer monitor. On the bottom right I put a widescreen monitor. So its aspect ratio would be 16 by 9. And keep in mind this isn't inches or feet or yards or miles. 16 by 9 is just a generic unit of measurement. It's all relative size. So, and one other thing I did want to point out on this slide, if you look at these two monitors, even though the one on the right, the widescreen monitor, is a, a larger physical monitor, you'll notice that the display setting is much lower. You can't see as much of that blue wave on the right, but on the left side, even though it's a physically smaller computer monitor, the display setting is set higher so you can see more of that blue wave image. So that's another good example of differences in display settings. But let's get back to aspect ratios. So you need to consider the aspect ratio. The width by the height is a standard definition monitor, is a widescreen monitor, and so forth. But you can also consider aspect ratio when it comes to an individual image. So let's take a look at Photoshop and how this affects an image. So here's that same image I was working with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into free transform mode and I have a whole video on how to do transformations in Photoshop. So you can look up how to do uh, these kinds of transformations in that video. But here I'm going to take my free transformation. And you'll notice I can change the aspect ratio. Okay, I can change the number of units of width to height, number of units of height to width. Um, but this stretches and distorts and squish it, squishes the image. Um, 
and that's not always a good thing. Often when you resize an image, you want to maintain its original aspect ratio. You want to keep the width and the height uh, roughly the same, even though the physical size of the image will change. So if I hold down shift, you'll notice that now, no matter where I move my cursor, the aspect ratio is staying the same, even though the physical size of the image is changing. So the physical size gets bigger or smaller, but the aspect ratio, the width by height, doesn't change. Um, so commonly when you're working with images, you're resizing something, uh, transforming, scaling, uh, you want to keep that aspect ratio the same. So that's uh, something you want to consider when working with your images in multimedia. So that concludes this video. I'll see you in the next one.